Hi, Smart Home Sunday, my name's Paul, and I'm tinkering with Home Assistant each and every week. And at the moment, I'm focused on the Philips Hue Smart Home Lighting System and trying to get it to do some really fancy things under the control of Home Assistant. So I'm working on an adaptive lighting automation, I suppose you would call it, would be a better name, or a schedule. So in the last few weeks, I've shown you how I have built some scripts and those scripts are being called from some automations. And in particular, I was looking at the switch on state. So when you switched on a group of lights in the house, there would be a little look up to see what time of day is it and what scene should be set. And I was doing that with Home Assistant and it's working pretty well. Been using that now for about a week. And the next step though, is if the lights are on, at certain times during the day, I want the scene to switch to the next one over a 20 minute transition period. So let me show you what I've got. Now I have made a change to the scripts oh so slightly. So if I just look at one example here, what I've done is I've put a, another variable in here. So turn time. So now I can have the switch on automation send a very quick turn time to the script. Right, so if I see a light go from an off state to an on state, I want to trigger a very quick look up and switch to the correct color temperature. So having this turn time there allows me in one set of automations to send a very quick turn time. However, in this automation I'm going to show you today, I want to set a slow turn time. So if we get to 10 a.m., I want at 10 a.m. a check of all the lights in the house, those that are on, they need to then 20 minutes transition from the current scene to the next one. So that's the change I made in the scripts. Now let's go and have a look at the automations. Now I'm pretty proud of this. Uh, I actually have managed to create a single automation. I've just named it here, time check light. Now we just jump straight into this and I need to go into the YAML because it doesn't even display correctly. So if you have a look here, yeah, visual editor not supported for this configuration, but th there is the, the secret bit of YAML here. So what I've managed to do is understand the instructions. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, all, everything I'm doing here is just documented and um, on the Home Assistant website and lots of other people asking questions on how to do stuff. So I just kind of pieced it all together myself, try it out and it works. So I'm going to share this with you today and it works. So here I have multiple triggers. Now the triggers are times. So, but I can actually create this in a very shorthand way. So trigger, platform, look at the time, and then at 501, 1001, 1301, 1801, 1801, and 2301, this automation is going to trigger. So there's the uh, first magic bit of coding here, and that is multiple triggers in a single automation. I actually thought I was going to have to create sort of six automations for each of these times and then for each light group. And I thought, oh no, I'm going to end up with some 300 automations. Well, thankfully, no. A single automation, it handles these six trigger times and I could just add more in the list there if I want. Now, here's the next magic bit that I'm super proud of. What I'm doing here is I have these uh, actions, but there are multiple actions. So I don't know why they call it choose, but anyway, each choose is checking the condition of one of the lights and, and one of the lights within the group. So here you can see it's checking that is the dining table light on? So if it is, it's going to run this sequence. And the sequence is going to call the service template, which is just great because I'm just reusing the code that I wrote earlier in the last few weeks. And here I am looking for a time window. So what time is it now? Is it between five and nine? If it is, then call script energize, so on and so forth. Now at the time I'm recording this video, the script that should be called is dimmed. So it should actually be uh, not within any of these time windows, no if else is here at all, but it's the it's the big um, else. And in this particular automation, 
uh, the turn time. It's 12,000. So if you do the calculation, it should be 20 minutes. And then I just have each light group being checked. So first one, check the dining table. Is that group of lights on? If it is, do the change. Is the kitchen light on? Okay, if it is, do the change. Is the kitchen cupboard on? Do the change. Is the lounge on? Do the change. And the cellar, do the change. So I'm not actually looking at a light group, just to let you know. I'm looking at a single light within one of the light groups. So when I call the uh, Hue API, I tell a full group to turn on. So for example, uh, I'm looking at the dining table light if it's on, but that's just the one over the table. In that actual dining room, I've got four lights and one of them is the dining table light. So I'm just looking at the state of that light, but when I send an API command, I'm telling all of the lights in the room to transition to the new scene or to uh, turn on to the right scene. So the reason I decided to do this is I, I found that looking at one light globe or one light bulb, what do you want to call it? Uh, one of the smart lights, um, it seemed to work a little bit faster and it seemed to be a little bit more reliable. So that's why I'm looking at just one of the smart lights and I'm not looking for a whole group. So there you go. If you've been following along and you're after the nitty, itty, nitty gritty details, well, I try and share them with you. But here we go, I just have all of these uh, in here and look what I can do is I can show you that this will actually work. I'll just change the turn time down to two. Then I'll add a new time in here. So let's just put in another time in the list. Or maybe we'll just change this one. No, we'll put another one. So add this in and I'm gonna make it for a minute from now. So click save. So what's gonna happen is in a, a minute from now, this automation is going to run and it's going to check all the states of the lights in the house, including this one up here. And this one is seller one. Then when it sees that it's on, it's going to change it to script dimmed. Okay, are we ready? I'm ready. I'm just waiting for the time now. Uh, yes. So, how are you doing? Anything new? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Good, we didn't have to make too much small talk. It worked. You can see it worked. Absolutely worked. So, this is, uh, oh, this is pretty exciting, I've got to say. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to hide in the dark. And if you want some more details about this or more of a walkthrough, then, well, please let me know. Give it a like, subscribe, and follow along as I continue to figure out what more I can do in the smart home with Home Assistant. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.